What is going on guys? Today we're gonna learn how to set up PayPal standard for your WooCommerce store and just to clarify, this is not for PayPal uh, checkout, this is for PayPal standard and you can see the WooCommerce docs if you want to but sometimes it's easier just to have a visual or a video. So the first step I'm going to do is go to my WordPress slash WooCommerce dashboard and I'm gonna go click settings I'm going to click the Payments tab, then I'm going to enable the PayPal payment method, and then I'm going to click Setup. So I've enabled the PayPal standard payment method, um, and as you see here, this is my PayPal email. So what I'm gonna going to need to get my API keys from PayPal. So I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm gonna sign in and PayPal might may might make you like enter in a text code or something um, to get um, like to verify or have them call you so you might have to do that to log in so the next step is to go down and this is important so to have a PayPal standard um, account you need to have a business account so from this dashboard after you sign to PayPal to clarify click settings and then click website payments okay from there click under API access click update and then scroll down so this is the part where a lot of people get confused with PayPal standard um, so you're, you're gonna be looking for this um, for this uh, you know API integration MVP slash so API integration classic so you're gonna click manage API credentials Jesus Christ, so now I have to get a text. Um, let me fill this out real quick. Jesus Christ, probably good though. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, identity confirmed, sweet. Sweet, so from here, you'll be able to see your API username, and if I just go if I just go dual screen for a moment <laughs> and I scroll all the way down here I'm actually gonna pull this over just to show us a better visual so if you see from here if I show my API username and then the password and then the signature paste those in so paste in your username paste in your password paste in your signature and this is important I'm not going to show you just in case there's someone on this video that's trying to I don't know somehow rip my PayPal account we don't really actively do uh, PayPal that much for payment methods anyways but um, you never know with some people so um, yeah grab your API username password and signature and put it in th this boxes and then from there you know click Save Changes and then this is another important part so make sure that the PayPal account business account you have is matched up to the PayPal email and um, I wrote did another video about how to set up a PayPal sandbox account but essentially you have to have a, a PayPal developer account to set that up I'll put the link in uh, the bio of this video if you want to set up a sandbox account I highly would recommend doing that it's kind of a little bit more tricky to set up than stripe um, but well worth it to test on a staging site so Anyways, the, keep going through this tutorial. Click enable IPN email notifications if you want to do this. And if you want to do this, um, you need to go back to the settings on PayPal. And I'm kind of in this like inverted mode. But if you scroll back down to this website payments under the settings and you click instant payment notifications, So choose IPN settings and then you'll be able to, to get instant payment notifications. So this is where I'm going to rely on the, the WooCommerce docs to set this up. So I want to have IPN email notifications and I'm going to scroll down and if I just type in IPN, I 
I think this is a... cool. So from here, I'm going to take this URL and just replace it. I want to receive them um, and type in my my website address and I'm just basically adding this to the end of it. Awesome. My IPNs are enabled. I'm going to go back to the settings and I'm going to scroll down to website payments because that's where we were. And then I'm also going to go to this website preferences. So a little recap, we've already got API access. We've gone to instant payment notifications. Now let's go to website preferences. And um, I want to have, so you know when you, like, you fill out a PayPal, like you make a payment in PayPal, and sometimes it, it will return you back to um, like the mer or like the merchants um, or like the business or whatever the e-commerce store after going to PayPal to make the payment. So um, you know at the end of this, add like for WooCommerce would be slash checkout slash order receive. So if I pull this up, I have slash checkout slash order received. So you could put like slash your domain dot com slash checkout. So I should have received. So make sure to replace your domain um, and put whatever your domain is. So after someone makes a payment on PayPal, they will return to the order received page, which is important um, because they might want to shop around, read another blog post, become more engaged with your brand. So I have that turned on. And I also have um, an identity token that you can turn on as well. And I'll have to gray this out in the video, but um, you can paste it right here. And then these are some other settings you can do. You can send the shipping details to PayPal instead of billing. A lot of the, like the only products we sell were like development firm. We don't sell any products that you ship. So we don't send any shipping details to PayPal. And then um, for payment action, I always make sure this is capture unless you have a really, really good reason to be authorized. And then if you want to add a little image URL in, you can. Um, they accept the image that is 150 by um, 50 pixels. So for example, I just used a favicon that's 50 pixels times 50 pixels. You can see right here. And I just go like this. I copy that link. And I go to and I put it here. So if I update these settings and I go to like a test product, I click here and I want to do PayPal. I need to fill up the stuff. Okay, here we go. So like this is the logo that shows. Um, probably not going to move the needle um, to add a logo, but it could be just a little fun trick that you want to do. Um, so overall, notice that if uh, you know it's letting me know that I'm actually I, I shouldn't log in with this account because I'm the merchant and the customer. Um, but essentially, because I try to initiate a transaction, if someone clicks PayPal and they don't make a payment, it's going to show pending. It's going to show. Uh, it's going to show pending payment now. So um, just keep that in mind if you're doing test transactions or if someone abandons. It's not a. It's not a huge deal by any means, but just uh, something to keep out, for, watch out for. So recap, I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, you know, that's how you set up PayPal standard and um, probably the hardest part is knowing where to find this MVG slash soap slash AP or M MVP soap API integration, um, classic signature and you know, username and password and signature. So that's it for today, everyone. Um, Hope you guys all have a great rest of the day. Leave me some comments um, in the video below. Maybe give it a thumbs up if you liked it. 
just trying to do a little bit more content, a little bit more video. Um, still kind of a noob at it, but uh, would love to hear your feedback, good or bad. Don't be afraid to roast me in the comments. All right, have a good one, guys. Peace.